Welcome to Forensics Detectors, I'm Dr. Kaji Gasmir, the gas detector today. I'm a gas sampling pump expert. Look at this beauty, folks. It is a gas sampling pump. Inside, we have a motor. It's creating suction, so it's drawing the air from the nipple down the stainless steel probe into the unit and then expels it at the bottom there. You see that, folks? It's a rubber cap. If you open that up, there's a barb. There's a barb. And you could pop your tube and it expels the air. So it's drawing the air, then throwing it out at the bottom. It's perfect to have a point sampling forced air situation for gas sampling. I'll show you how it works. Look, it has three buttons at the front. The middle button is the on off button, but it also acts as a pump on, pump off. Pretty simple. Pump on, it's drawing the air. And you could see that triangle tells you the load. See that folks, it's moving. So you're not straining the motor. It tells you how much strain it has on the motor. That's why we have that triangular graph. It's quite nice indeed. Let's turn that off for the minute. Now look, it comes with your nipple. The nipple is very important. Why, Dr. Cos? You may want to pop some tubing onto the nipple. Okay, folks? Tubing attaches onto this beautiful nipple because some people may want to sample a confined space, a manhole. So you just pop your tube down and you can sample it. It's quite nice indeed. That's why we have the nipple to extend the probe with tubing. So it comes to you also with a probe. This actually has a nice thread. So it comes off for easy storage and you could pop it back on. Okay, just like that folks. There's the side profile and there's the back very easy rechargeable and as you could see the port for recharge is right there it comes to you with a nice usb recharge cable and the box that it comes with is a very strong box just as you could see right over here and it comes also with about a three feet of silicone tubing just like this now let's get to the crux of the issue what is this for dr cos exactly it's a pump you pop your tube on just like so we turn it on Air is being drawn through the unit, expelled through the tubing, and then, look, we have air coming out, and then you want this air to be forced onto your gas detector. Okay, folks, pretty straightforward. So we have here a forensics detector's hydrogen, single gas hydrogen detector, right over here, and we have the calibration cap, so air is forced onto the unit. Now, why do we need this, Dr. Cos? Why can't we just use this like this? What's the advantage of a gas sampling pump setup? Well, it's called an aspirated setup or a forced air setup. So we're point sampling and the air from here is going here. So that's the point. It's point sampling. So I may want to sample a container. I may want to sample a closed room. I may want to sample a confined space. So I don't necessarily have to take the detector in that area to sample the gas. You get it, folks? There could be a toxic situation and I just stick the probe in and I could get a sample reading of what's going on in that space. I don't necessarily have to open the doors or open the container to take a reading. That's why it's beautiful, folks. It's very important and often used. Used. very often this setup is used sometimes people purchase the gas detector and the pump is included in the gas detector but in this case what the point of the gas sampling pump is is that it could make a diffusive mode a passive gas detector into a pumped situation so you could draw the air to the unit and it also increases its responsivity the response time because you're forcing the air to the sensor which is right at the front the responsivity and the response time increases of any diffusive natural diffusive gas detector so it's a beautiful situation and it's a great alternative if you want to have that capability i hope that all makes sense till then be well be safe and see you soon.